I got two questions regarding the Kai 69 and I need some fucking answers. Alright? Now I have the answer. In my opinion, I think it's accurate. But am I always right? No. Am I always wrong? Hell no. But in this case and scenario, I feel like I need the people to engage. That's one thing about my channel. I make sure that people engage in my videos or whatever. To the little bit of subs I do have. But, you know, the viewers, whatever. I wasn't going to talk about this with some of the homies. But I told them, you know what, I'm going to even make y'all wait. Just tune in. Because I'm going to answer these two questions. You know, right now I'm just sitting on my porch, you know, up in California. You know, you always got that weird ass weather, as you guys can see. It's fucking windy and sunny. But I don't see worse than that. I'd have been places, and it's been times in Cali where it was raining and the fucking sun was out. Yeah, y'all, real shit. Um, but fuck Cali's weather for a second, which is the best weather. Fuck the weather for a second. Let's talk about <clears throat> these questions. Question number one. Will Takashi 69 be able to make a hit again? Will he? Question number one. Question number two is, will we even see Takashi 69 again? Now, I'm not talking about in general, because in general means anybody. I'm talking about us. You know, the same way we've been seeing this motherfucker make, you know, tracks like Kuda, you know, tracks like um, Gummo. Not that type of seal. I mean, yeah, that's what I mean. Excuse me. You guys know I don't edit shit. That type of seal. You know, will we be able to see him on video? Still make videos, whatever. You know, I think some people think it might just be over for him. It might just not be. But, you would know by the end of this fucking video. Now, let me say this. Before I answer these questions, let's ask ourselves, let's give ourselves an estimate. Well, let me give you guys an estimate on when Takai 69 will be free. Because you got some idiots out here talking about the boy is already free. You got some idiots out here talking about um, he will be free within this month. And this, the, the trial is almost over, but everything, the court case is not completely over just yet, y'all. Come on now. I mean, I'm hearing Takai 69 did get on the stand, but it's still a little small process after that. All right, it's not just you get on the stand and oh, let my handcuffs off and I'm free. No, it don't work that way. All right, they gotta make sure everything officially sticks with the judge. It's some extra shit. But anyway, it don't take that long, but it still take a little process. So my estimate is the earliest the Kai Six Nine could be out of jail, and let's just let's just say the earliest way possible is within two months. Okay, if it's not two months, minimum is September. Okay. Now, my opinion, the maximum is January next year, okay? That's the maximum. Now, let's get into one of these answers to one of these questions. And that is, that's why I just told you guys the estimate of when he will be free. So, we can know when can we expect. Not that we give a flying fuck. Not that I care or whatever. But, it's just some facts. So, will we see Takai 69 free again? I think this is a great question. So, let me give you guys a great answer, in my opinion. Um, this is not an easy one to answer because you got to have a lot of money for bodyguards. Let me tell you guys why I say this. You got to have a lot of money for bodyguards, yo. You have to. Um, the reason why I say this, y'all, is because I don't think Takai 69 has as much money as he once did. Think about it, people. You got legal fees. You got um, court fees. You know, you got lawyer fees. And I'm quite sure commissary in jail. 
It's a lot of things that I'm quite sure 6 9 being in jail, he's in the feds, so I'm quite sure, who knows, he probably had electronic equipment in there. Um, he probably has his own cell, which most likely he's not sharing a cell with somebody. Um, and it costs to be in jail, especially when you not trying to, when you a celebrity like 6 9 um, not saying you're, you're privileged, but you do have money to do certain things, and I'm quite sure a lot you will have some people, certain officers, give you some type of juice on the strength of that alone. Um, especially since he's snitching. You guys have to understand, when you're in jail and you're snitching, you, you might have certain officers that might be like, fuck a snitch, but a lot of officers, that's what they feel like you, you took away for the team. So they might be showing 6 9 much love on the strength of that. But it's still going to cost some fucking money. Okay? So, back to what I was saying, though. Um, 6 9 being out of jail ain't going to be easy. So, he's going to have a he's gonna have to have a whole lot of money for bodyguards, y'all. A whole lot of money. A whole lot of money for bodyguards. Because 6 9 he's going to have to be on some Floyd Mayweather shit. He can't just have one or two guards and just think he's good like he like he used to do. Now, this motherfucker's going to have to be on some 50 cent shit. Let's be real. Uh, and let's just be honest. You got a lot of, allegedly, you got a lot of ex trayway members out there. Allegedly. Shit. Ex-members, period. That still wants to feed that motherfucker. 6 9 Shoddy's voice. Allegedly. But they still want to feed that motherfucker. 6 9 And let's be real. You know how many stripes you would get off of feeding 6 9 A snitch that's freed from jail? You know how many motherfuckers is going to get credit from that if you can get rid of 6 9 Now understand the feds. Um, it's going to have him under witness protection and all this. But for all the dummies out there, people have been killed on witness protection before, you guys. Killed. And I'm quite sure 6 ix 9 is going to have a number on his fucking head. Witness protection don't automatically mean that you didn't. Witness protection just means that they're going to protect you to the best of their ability. All right? You still have to protect your fucking self, y'all. Now, will we see the Kai Six Nine again? It's possible. Uh, some people consider Fifty Cent a rat. He's still seen, whatever. Some people consider Rick Ross a police. The same way they consider Six Nine one. We still see Rick Ross. There's still people out there that have snitched, and we've seen them before on the streets, like ain't shit happened. But with 6 9 it's a little different, because I, I think he's going to get some tattoo removals. I definitely see that. Not only tattoo removals, um, I feel like he's going to um, shave his head. It might be either bald, or he might just have it, you know, in another color. That's for damn sure. We're not going to see the rainbow hair to Kai 6 9 anymore. But if you really ask yourself, what is what is 6 9 without the rainbow hat? I really think that was a big part of his character. So, that's going to take a major hit with 6 9 So, um, but we'll just ask ourselves, will we ever see him again? It's possible. Maybe he might do an interview um, so, surrounded by a whole lot of police or whatever. Um, maybe we'll Maybe we'll never see him again. Maybe he will just ride up to the sunset, move to Cuba somewhere. We might not ever see the old boy again. But my personal opinion, I feel it's like it's possible. And if he ever wanted to make some real money, or any type of money, period, that is, I know he's still going to get money from his own records, but he's going to have to. He's going to have to still make some type of hits, y'all. And I know some people might say, oh, 6 9 he not his um songs won't have that same effect anymore and I agree but 
if you guys really think about it, before 6 9 went to jail, he showed us that he don't need the whole turned up shit. All the goals in the video to make a hit. He made that song stupid. Wasn't he by himself? Wasn't he by himself and he made stupid? Yeah, he had one person in the car maybe, but wasn't he by himself? So 6 9 he has showed us his versatility. His versatility is pretty solid. If that's not enough for you, he did the song with um the song by himself, Bebe, I think, or um Fifi, whatever the fucking song. Yeah, Fifi. With um Nicki Minaj. That's another one. And he did the song to his peoples. So Six Nine can he don't have to make the turned up songs to make a hit. And I'm quite sure if he make if he make another song he could probably make songs just aimed at his peoples. And maybe they'll fuck with it. Because you have like a lot of older Mexicans uh, buying that song. That don't know or don't care about the gang life and if he's a stitch or not. So I want to just say that he can't make a hit. Alright. Now all the turned up hits he used to make, that's over with. You know, even though you're going to have some people sneaking their earphones in to listen to... 6 9 quite sure people still do that. Um, not gonna give you that same feeling. Like, damn. Because at least when he was free, it was a question was he real or not? Now it's no question. Once you snitch, that real card is out the window. Okay? So, will we ever see 6 9 again in a perfect world? Yes. Too bad this world is not perfect. But let's just say everything is perfect in the situation, which means um, he gets some nice royalty checks. Uh, let me just be honest. You know, I'm not going to sugarcoat shit. In my opinion, I don't think we'll ever see 6 9 again. Now, you might hear of him. You know, like, you can hear him on, on the track and be like, oh, that's 6 9 Or if he do make songs, not going to be the same type of turned up songs no more. But seeing 6 9 I, I doubt we'll see 6 9 yo. If he had bread like a 50 cent, if he had, if he had bread like a, even a Rick Ross, then I could see it. I really don't, I, I won't be surprised if 6 9 did not have 500000 to his name. That would not surprise me if he did it. All the fees he's paying for, plus when he gets out, I doubt the man will, I won't be surprised if, see, it would shock me if 6 9 had 500000 to his name, period. Period. <laughs> You guys have to understand, 6 9 was spending a whole lot of money, giving away a whole lot of money, paying for a whole lot of shit, assuming that he was going to reinvest and invest all of that shit back. Which, I'm quite sure he would have done if he did take this huge hit. 6 9 didn't see this huge hit coming, y'all. So people want to make it seem like 6 9 it wasn't even worth $10 million when he was free. I think 6 9 net worth at his very maximum. You know, you guys have to understand, he was getting played, spent a lot of money, shot he was getting them, he was a young nigga. I think 6 9 at the very maximum had about 2 mil. Even Shadi said, oh, um, when he was talking about the feeding situation, allegedly, even he was saying that, you know, he don't feel like 6 9 is going to be able to afford any bodyguards. He don't have that type of money like that. You guys, Shadi is right. Them bodyguards is a tough penny. Especially when you want to have at least a 6 9 going to at least need. And this is me being nice. He's going to at least, you know what? Fuck being nice. 6 9 going to at least need 12 bodyguards. Okay? That's why 50 Cent was popping all that shit. He had 20, he has 20, 30 bodyguards with him. Not only that, he has shooters, you know, ex-cops and all that with him. So 50 ain't got to worry about shit, especially 50 at that time. But 50 still got some bread. But 6 9 in a perfect world, he would have to have a whole lot of money. He would have to have a, he would have to be doing it and doing it and doing it right to have all the bodyguards on the side, people. Not only bodyguards, 6 9 is going to need to pay for guns. Um, all this is allegedly. Not only that, y'all. To make hits is going to cost. You have to invest in hits. Who's going to be 
willing to invest in a snitch. Listen to me, y'all. Will we see 6 9 again? In a perfect world, maybe. And that's even in the perfect world. My answer is no. I think we'll hear from him, interviews, song wise. And that's even the maybe. Excuse me. As to the second question is can he make a hit? I told you guys that already. Maybe a hit for his peoples. Maybe even. I don't even know what the females fuck with with six nine right now. You, you guys know what I'm saying because the females don't they don't really care about you. You know you have some dude. You got certain females that um really care if a man is a thug or not. Um, but six nine it's like we know people that are not thugs that still make hits. And six nine, I mean, no homo, but the kid don't got a bad voice. You know. Um, I could see him making some singing tracks, maybe some slow songs for the woman, but I, I, as the fellas, I don't think we fuck with you, 6 9 I think you too soft in our eyes, in my opinion. Um, but I think that's the only way he can make a hit. All that turned up, oh, we can get it started, and we can get retarded. That's out the fucking window. Guys, that's my, that's my opinion. Let me know yours.